Okay. Hello everyone. Now today we are continuing with the series that we started on radiology spotters. Our intent on the series is to share uh, classic images in radiology which can be asked as a spotter to a resident or as a visual to an undergraduate in the exams. These images are usually self-explanatory. And if you want to see more of this series, you can follow us on the Dams Daily channel on YouTube where we have shared many of such cases in the past and we intend to share more of such cases. So let us straight away jump to the image and try and make the sense on this. In front of you, I have put up a CT scan image in which, okay, in which you are able to see some typical finding. What do you see? So if I try to show you, you can see this is the bone, this is the brain and you can see some dark area. It is totally black. So we know from our knowledge of Hounsfield scale that uh, air on CT scan would look black. This is air. So w w this is a post-operative patient which came to us in the you know on a CT operative follow-up scan. What do you think is the diagnosis? Pneumocephalus. So what is so interesting about pneumocephalus in this patient? Now what I want you to know is this pneumocephalus is a very common post-operative finding, and you may also see pneumocephalus after head injury, but usually this air is resorbed. Why would you need, uh, what is the finding that you see in this scan which is very typical? You can see the separation of two frontal uh, poles. So the frontal poles, the, uh, the anterior part of the frontal lobes are separated. Why are they separated? Because the air in this uh, cranial cavity has pressure more than the surface tension of the CSF which, is, which normally holds the two frontal lobes together. And uh, that is why this pneumocephalus is causing separation of the two peaks. This appearance has been called as Mount Fuji sign because of its resemblance to the mountain Fuji in Japan where you have two peaks on the top of the mountain and this indicates that this pneumocephalus is tension pneumocephalus. Okay, it is not a normal pneumocephalus, we would want to intervene in such a patient because this indicates tension pneumocephalus. So that is why because it is telling us that the pressure of the pneumocephalus is at least more than the surface tension of the CSF which would have held the two frontal lobes together. In this patient, they are separated. So this is the classic sign which is called as Mount Fuji sign and it is diagnostic of tension pneumocephalus. So the purpose of our series that we are doing this radiology spotter series is to collect a series of readily diagnosable images which speak for themselves, which are useful for residents as well as for undergraduates. And for more of such series, you can uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel called as Dams Daily and you can have access to more such videos. Thank you very much. It is a pleasure to discuss such cases with you. Thank you.